God, honestly, I really hate puns, bro. And all the videos I seem just tell me not to care about my rank, but I still do. I'm not very, like, mechanical, and I mess up a lot. Puns is, like, one of the most tilting things, so I, I just don't. I'm Blockscore, a top 1% player in Rocket League with over 1,000 hours of playtime. This is King Ranny, a top 0.1% player with over 10,000 hours of playtime. Me and Randy are going to be giving some of our best tips on not only ranking up in ones, but also the benefits of ones in your regular day-to-day -day gameplay. Alright, what are your thoughts on 1v1s? Your personal thoughts. I personally... When I first started playing Rocket League, I never touched ones. I hated ones. I'm not very like mechanical and I mess up a lot. I could understand why it would make you better as a player. Um, so I started playing ones more, got some coaching from Randy. I haven't gone coaching in a minute. I probably should because I'm still at the same rank that I am. And ones is actually triggering, but um, I think it is a really good game mode to help you rank up and like actually be self-reliant and not rely on your teammates so much. What's your number one tip for players who feel intimidated by ones? Um, learn how to play 1v1s. Like learn learn strategy for 1v1s. Do some analysis. If you, if you have the money for it, get some coaching. It's just like do some research on 1v1s and then it's a lot less scary. How most people play 1v1s is they just kind of like ball chase everything without thinking. Once you start like playing slower and like smarter and like you start outsmarting people, it gets a lot more fun for one thing. But it also means that you you aren't just stuck in the self analysis of okay, I, I lost that I, I got scored on here I got beat there. What did I do wrong? If you don't know any strategy, you're just kind of like yeah I should have been faster there. And that's not really good analysis. That's just like mechanical analysis. You're never doing any like strategical analysis unless you know what's going on in 1v1s. Yeah, I love that. When playing 1s, what is your main focus? Um, okay, so I said this to you off camera, but to say it on camera, I haven't played 1s in three seasons. It is not something I play. But the only reason I don't play it is because the only time I ever play this game is when I stream. And streaming 1s is like one of the most tilting things. So I just don't. But I'll answer from like the perspective of when I did play 1s. My main goal playing 1s was as a whole and as a player like the only thing i was thinking about it wasn't winning it wasn't like i want to hit clips like the main goal was like i just want to be a better player i i don't care if i win and like i had the amount of the coaches i've spoken to where it's like if you use ones as a, a method to improve and not to like care about your rank you're going to be a lot better off long term so actually i have a i have a secret strat i guess you could call it a strategy for for defense and 1v1s usually you want to have like at least 30 boost before like pressuring if you have less than 30 boost i i i got shit on there no way <laughs> if i have less than 30 boost then i'm uh i'm going back on defense usually or if i'm like really close i may go for the early challenge every coach i've spoken to is just like if you care about it you're gonna get like upset and you, you're just it's not gonna help you out at all so just focus on improving as a player you know, and even, I find myself too, even when I am doing that and playing once, I play once for the exact same reason, but I think the, the, the issue I have is actually getting over just not caring about my rank. I think that's the hardest part. Like, even if you go in with that mindset, it's so hard to stay dedicated to it, I feel, because like, I can say it and tell myself that like, oh, I don't, I don't care. I'm just working on this new mechanic. And then yeah. it kicks back in the thought of I'm going to derank if I lose this game and then I won't yep. pay attention to what else it, 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 it becomes this big issue I have with ones and then I hate them. Do you recommend players start 1v1ing their friends first to maybe get the feel and enjoy ones before they actually start taking it to ranked? It would help. If we're talking about like early, early like players, like when they first download the game, I think playing like uh like the bots might be really good too oh, okay. i've had a few people to do that when they first start and uh they said they, they liked it a lot more than just like going into casuals or ranked 1v1s first is ground play more important than airplay in ones yeah 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 there are a select few people who should be using 1v1s and like just going for really risky stuff like that's a play style 
for like freestylers. If you want to get really mechanical, you can kind of just use 1v1s as like free play. Dude, I do know a few pros that have used 1v1s that way. Uh, Druze is the one that comes to mind. I think Astral did that for a while too. Like only go for like really basic stuff if like if it's open. Or if you have a big lead, you can go for aerial stuff. But you should be using 1v1s as a way to balance out your play style. Why do you think players should value ones instead of just focusing on ranking up? Ah, okay. Um, the main reason why I've always said to like ones is so valuable and like not focusing on ranking up is kind of the better way to improve at ones or a better way to improve as a player, I guess, is because when playing ones, it, it's purely just everything that goes wrong is on you, you know? Oh, absolutely. Like, it's the if, accountability. If, if, yeah, if I make a mistake, I, I know it's on me. Like, I, you know, if I don't play fast enough <laughs> there, I get demoed. <laughs> it's one of those things. And so I'm like, okay, from that one play, I have to be like, I need to play faster on counterattack. Like, I need to not take my time. You like, if you don't focus on ranking up, if you don't focus on that, you just kind of value ones as like a game mode and, and think about what you can get from it. You start learning about all the different mistakes that you're making that maybe if you were focused on ranking up, you wouldn't make that mistake. Like, you wouldn't think about it. You'd still make it. But you wouldn't be like, oh, I need to play faster. You'd be like, oh, I need to score another goal now. You know, like it's not one of those. If you only play the game to focus on the mistakes, you improve faster, which means you rank up faster. Do you think people who just pick up the game, so brand new players haven't touched Rocket League at all, do you think they should start out playing ones to make their journey easier? Uh, everyone that I've I've seen that starts playing more, like plays 1v1s early, they get better a lot faster. It's, it's proven at this point, I would say. Whenever you're like really new, I think you, you're gonna tilt a little bit less oh, if you're really? like if you're just starting the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't you don't care about it that much yet. So you're you're getting the benefit of like getting to touch the ball a lot more without getting angry at it yet, which most people do get angry at once once they start caring about the game. So like, what if you what if you did like the sweaty part in the early days, you know? Oh, so you can just be like the pre-amped up sweat. Got you, got you. Yeah, yeah. You're sweating without knowing that you're sweating. But then, then you play Rock League for more than a hundred, couple hundred hours, and you're like, oh, <laughs> 1v1s is really annoying now. <laughs> <laughs> I also think accountability is a huge factor in ones. There's, it's a, the game is entirely based on the player themselves and what decisions and risks they're willing to take. Like this right now, I probably shouldn't do. I'm not sure where you're, I don't even know where you're going with that, to be honest. Honestly, really good shot. I, I was thinking the exact same thing. If people play more ones, um, they they kind of just rank up automatically, actually. Like, yeah. Without even realizing it, if you just play ones and you don't care, when you do go to care in your regular twos or threes matches, I feel like playing those games are beyond easier and ranking up is just not an issue anymore. It just kind of happens. Yeah, 100%. When I did play, I think that was the fastest I've ever ranked up. You think if people played more ones, they would tilt less in other game modes? Uh, yes, 100%. I think that's kind of apparent from a lot of top level ones players. Uh, people like Fairy Peak, if you've, or like, oh, yeah. Colored, like, they're just like in, insane, like, stable mindsets. Like, they do not tilt, they don't get, like, there are players that do tilt um, in the one scene, and that's pretty apparent as well, unfortunately. But, like, I think you can build a pretty solid mindset from playing ones and, and like, kind of not tilting. Because once you do start to acknowledge like, oh, that's like on me, like that's my fault. I just need to get better instead of, you know, the blame game. I think you're in a much better position. Would you say that ones is going to help players with their general games, so like twos and threes? Um, to a certain extent, yeah. I, I, th I think any everyone should main 1v1s at least for like a season or two. And um, there's like, there's a lot of things to be gained from 1v1s, like um, risk management is a big one. Uh, you get to improve your ground play. You get to learn shot of defense, which you do end up using in 2v2s quite a bit. It's, it's OP, basically, for improvement at any rank. But I think at a certain rank, like, uh, you know, like high GC, 1v1s may not be as useful once you've kind of gotten what you yeah. like, you've gotten that solo play potential created for yourself. Like, you, you create that foundation of solo play. You want to, you know, you can't only play 1v1s forever unless you're me. What do you think the main focus of one should be for the for the average player? Someone who's just getting into ones, let's put it that way. Um, I think your main focus should just be working on the like very, very basics of the game. Because in ones, you have like 
probably you know upwards of five six tries to work on your kickoff per game um you can work on your dribbling the entire time your flicks like defending all these are like kind of the basics that you need in every oh my <laughs> uh you need them in every other game every other game mode i should say but i think if you're just starting ones those should be your focuses like all the basics that you can that you use in every game but you don't really get a chance to practice because you're not on the ball as much bonus question do you think ones should be included in a warm-up routine to build strong habits into your good habits you're saying like before you start queuing twos or threes yeah oh you could i play the game most of warm-up for 1v1s but yeah that, that would i guess that would help yeah i i don't really i don't usually think of playing games as a warm-up though unless it's like casual in your opinion, is one's the best oh, way to learn a new mechanic I or skill? Uh, yeah, 100%. Um, I spoke to, you know, the pro player, I can never pronounce his name, like Joey is. Crazy, crazy ones player. Uh, I interviewed him a few years ago, and he said when he was learning double resets, he would just nonstop, but he would just play ones and go for doubles like all game. And it was just because it didn't matter if he was. Like scoring them, it didn't matter if he was winning the game. It was just more so about having uh, a good time to practice mechanics without having to worry about like you're not going to get perfect setups, you're not going to get perfect opportunities, and you're going to have a good defender uh, while you're learning. So it's like a great way to practice everything. And actually, I was uh, HK Bobo was actually teaching me a couple things, and he taught me. He introduced me to Flakes. Um, he's yeah. got this series. Uh, SSL, 1v1 SSL with no mechanics. Yep. I have been consuming that content <laughs> like no tomorrow. And yep. I played, I lost count of how many games. I think I played 50 1v1 games in a single session of just trying the method. And I went up like maybe a whole division from it. But after I started Damn. mastering the, uh, the skill, just because I had all that time on the ball and I could actually practice the skill by myself, because yeah. of that, I, I ended up automatically going up. I went from like Diamond 2 to Champ 1. Would you use ones in your regular warm-up or training routine? I uh, would I? Yes, like like would you recommend that's what people should do? Ah, okay. Yes, a hot yeah, yeah. Definitely. Oh nice. Thank you. I didn't you wouldn't even need the ball. Okay. Yes. Um warming up, I think you should play like at least two or three games at once. Cause it's like normal warm up. I'd say free play is obviously very important. I think one is a really good way of kind of doing free play, but with a challenge. Like putting it all together. Yeah. Yeah. If your goal is twos or threes, I think one is a really nice way to to warm up. Would you play Rocket League if one v ones was the only game mode to exist in the entirety of Rocket League? Nothing else but ones existed. No. And why? Because ones makes me beyond tilted for <laughs> one. Like. I can maybe play a max, depending on how I'm playing. If I'm playing well and I'm, you know, like winning some and losing some, winning some, losing some, I'll be fine for probably like, I can maybe last playing once for like a couple hours if I'm playing like decent, like winning, losing, winning, losing. If I'm losing more than I'm winning, like consistently just losing game after game after game, I'll usually just say FFs after like, Probably like five or six games. <laughs> I think one thing people should try more is if they if they go into ones and practice solely mechanics or one specific mechanic, I, I f they shouldn't get discouraged because what it means is if they're deranking from it after trying it and they're and they're really trying their best, it just means that they they haven't mastered the skill to the point where they can compete with it in their own rank yet. Like if you start in diamond, for example, we'll start with diamond. You de rank to, I don't know, plat one. You were diamond one, now you're plat one because you were practicing a new mechanic. It doesn't mean you're necessarily bad and you should feel bad about demoting. It just means that the, the mechanic you're practicing, you, you're just not ready for it in your rank yet. It's just like, it's like being a baby. You have to, you have to learn to walk before you can run. You can't run before you can walk. Why do you choose to steer away from ones? Yeah, I mean, mainly just because I'm. I feel like I'm not a mechanically good player. Like, I feel like because of the way I started playing Rocket League, and because I constantly was like queuing with someone, I always relied on my ex yeah. to do stuff. 
And so I basically just became pretty good at like defending and I feel like I had decent game sense, like not great. Um, but I had a twos and a threes coach and he helped me a lot with game sense. I think if I had more coaching from Rani, I'd probably, I'd probably play it more. Um, cause he, I will say he is an amazing coach. Oh yeah, he's an awesome coach. Link in description. When and if you do play ones, what is your main focal point? Like when you go in there every single time, what are you most focused on? Is it like, are you more focused on just trying to rank up? Is it trying to get better? Is it oh. seeing just how good your defense specifically is? How good offense? Like what? what is the, every time you go in there, what's it? What's the purpose? And maybe there isn't um, one. Maybe you just go in there to go in there because you're bored. Who knows? I would say it's to rank up. That's usually why I'm playing ones. Mustard. I know. You could rank up doing that too. What do you really, really, really hate about ones? And what do you really, really, really like about ones? I kind of feel like my answer to this might be the same for both, if that makes sense. Like, okay, okay. I yeah. really, I really hate that it, like, I, that I lose so much because I could just see all of my mis- Oh, that's wild. <laughs> I could see all of my mistakes. But I also really like that because then I know what else I need to work on, I guess. Right, right, yeah. I hate- I hate some of the toxicity I see in ones. It's really cringe. Like, I have to turn my chat off. I can't do it. So, bonus question. What is your favorite game mode and why? Probably twos. Because what i i guess that's what i like started like started playing on rocket league pretty consistently it's what the what i've peaked in like my mmr i like it though because you you have to you need to rely on your teammate like you can't just i mean you don't need to rely on your teammate but you need to have like a solid teammate yeah you need you definitely uh, need more teamwork yeah like unless you're literally not supposed to be in that rank like at all any socials you would like to uh oh yeah um yeah, yeah. let me plug let me plug a couple of things uh follow my my twitch if you guys can posting to youtube a lot more so i'm i'm close to ten thousand subscribers on there that'd be pretty cool to get that soon king ranny for youtube it's king ranny twitch is ranny and twitter is king ranny rl thanks so much ranny have a good day man yeah Thank you so much for your time, Thanovic. It was great chatting with you, and I appreciate all of your tips. If you guys want to go check out Thanovic, make sure to hit the card in the top right corner and any plugs you want to leave. Twitch.tv forward slash Thanovic. Link in the description. Ah, yeah. Thanks so much, Kat, for coming on. Do you have any socials you'd like to plug? You can find me on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. They're all apparently Kat underscore. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good day.